Hello YouTube, it's Spider again, here with another Spider Tries. Um, it's not very exciting this time around, of course, because it, I'm just trying popcorn, right? I mean, how, I guess, domestic, if you will, is that, right? But, I'm, well, I'll get to this one first, I guess. Jiffy Pop, I mean, I'm sure everyone, at least in the United States, knows what this stuff is. But, the reason I'm doing it on my channel is because, while I know Jiffy Pop, I'm familiar with it, I have never ever tried it before. And that's simply because I could never find it. I don't know, it's like, maybe they don't distribute it here, is like where I am, I mean, I'm in the Kansas City area, maybe I just didn't know where to look, or I, maybe, I, I don't know. But, until recently, I, I never really saw it before. And I have no real expectations about it. It probably tastes like typical microwave popcorn, except you do it, you know, on the range instead of in the microwave. But, yes, so I'm doing Jiffy Pop. This is the, yeah, butter-flavored popcorn. As much fun to make as it is to eat. <laughs> when I'm eating, I don't typically think of it as being fun, necessarily. I mean, I enjoy eating, but that's not to say it's fun, right? It's not one of those things that just to me, just says, this is a blast, I can't, I can't describe how fun this experience is for me, eating, whatever, but, yeah, yeah, this other one is, uh, J&D's Bacon Pop, let's see, from the makers of Baconase and Bacon Salt, let's see, I haven't heard of either of those things, by the way, uh, yeah, let's see, Bacon flavor microwave popcorn, natural or artificial flavors, da 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 da. Cute little cartoon bacon strip on the. See, okay, uh, this is a weird tangent to get into, but why is it that on packaging and stuff like that, like, okay, this is obviously, this is bacon flavored popcorn. Why is the cartoon character of the strip of bacon? It would imply that he enjoys eating bacon. Like, it's like cannibalism, right? Well, I can't tell you how many barbecue... I live in Kansas City, so yeah, we do barbecue, right? But I can't tell you how many barbecue pits and stuff I've gone by that have pigs, like, barbecuing ribs or eating them or something like that. Just To me, that's just... I don't know. It's unnerving. I don't like the idea of, like, pigs eating pork products or something. It just sounds... I don't know. It's just weird, but I'm weird, I guess. Okay, let me read the back of this. Okay, hear the pop, taste the sizzle. Taste the sizzle. Ow. Okay, Bacon Pop is the continuing story of two bacon fanatics, Justin and Dave, on a never-ending quest to make everything taste like bacon. It started with bacon, salt, and $5,000 Dave won in America's Funniest Home Videos when his kid hit him in the face. Ow? Anyway, it continued with Baconase, the ultimate bacon-flavored spread. So I'm, I'm assuming Baconase, by the way, I've never seen it, never had it, is mayonnaise that's flavored like bacon. I don't like mayo particularly. And I've never even heard of Baconase, and I've never seen bacon salt, so I'll have to look out for those now. Anyway, the ultimate bacon-flavored spread. Um, <clears throat> and now we bring you Bacon Pop. The bacon-flavored microwave popcorn that brings butter and bacon together for a Friday night movie, or uh, a Friday night movie date, I should say. I'm sorry, I'm reading through my viewfinder for some reason. Here we go. Bacon pop is even safe for, really, it's safe for vegans and vegetarians? How is that? Anyway, as Justin is fond of saying, Dave should get hit in the face more often. Yours and bacon... Justin and Dave. Aww. So, okay, so th how is this safe for vegans and vegetarians? I guess it's all artificial bacon flavor. You'd think they use some natural ingredients there. Okay, whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to, um... I'm going to open this up and pop some here in a few. And I'm also going to do this for good measure. Because, again, I've never tried it, and... I don't know, I'm actually kind of excited about popping this, just because I like the big, seeing the big foil brain case thing, whatever, 
pop up. I've seen it on TV. <laughs> anyway, so I'll be back in just a few. Alright, so I opened the box of Bacon Pop. You can see how greasy that is through the packaging, right? I mean, it, the package itself is kind of cool. I mean, even though it's just like, what, tri-color, I guess. But it's, it's not bad. I mean, it's kind of... I like it. Simple. But, man, is it greasy looking. By the way, I might sound a little different. I got a sinus infection. So, if I'm clearing my throat or coughing or something like that, that's the reason. And I passed it on over to her. And the peanut cat... Oh my goodness, this really does smell like bacon, though. Hmm. Wow. Wow. That's... That's, a. Uh, that's really intense. I'm sorry. Alright. Usually I like to kind of shake... Well, I don't microwave popcorn much, by the way. I typically do it stovetop, because I'm old school. But... Typically, I like to shake it up to kind of make sure it's all spread pretty evenly. So I'm going to put this in my microwave. I'm not going to start it yet. I'm just going to have that going in there while I get this open. All right. Nice. Looks like a, uh, looks kind of like a dog's rectum, <laughs> only shiny. All right, there's the directions on here. Do not puncture, tamper with, da 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 I'm not gonna read that because I'm sure there are many of you who actually are familiar with Jiffy Pop, and that probably bore you. Um, medium low. So I'm gonna get this started, and I'll pick it up from there. All right. So I um, got this going on. It's funny. Um, whenever I think of Jiffy Pop, I always instantly think of the movie Scream, and I'm sure all of us have seen that movie. So you can understand the uh, reference, but yeah. So I just sit here and just continuously shake this. I gotta tell you, this feels really feeble and whatnot in my hand. It's not very substantial at all, and it feels like I'm gonna break it. I see steam coming out of the top. I don't know if you can see that on... Well, yeah, you probably can. And what's really interesting is that my camera picks up a blue glow on the burner that you don't see at all in person. I've never actually filmed my burner on, my, on this camera before. That's kind of cool. Oh, here we go. Now the excitement begins. Up, up, up. Look at it go. <laughs> that is just awesome. I'm more amused by looking at the uh, blue glow on my burner, though, than I am at watching this thing just pop up like this. Looks like a chef's hat or something. Or like the, the AC vents or whatever on the tops of older buildings. Okay, I'm going to move that off the flame now. Alright. That is so blue. The other one is not like that. That's cool. That's, that's cool. Okay. So I'm supposed to, with a fork, Tear this up then. Work my dishwasher. Got one. I hope I didn't burn. 
I smell it. It smells kind of scorched. It's kind of too mesmerized, I suppose, by the uh, blue glow. All right. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pour this into... Really? Oh. Whirlpool. Alright, I'm going to pour this in here. So it doesn't continue cooking at the bottom of this. And it's not that little done. Maybe I wasn't shaking it vigorously enough. <laughs> it's still a bit too hot, though. I don't want to put that in the trash yet. Okay, I'm going to pop the other thing now. And then I will try them both for you momentarily. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> and I brought with me... This one is the bacon pop. Let me turn around for you. I don't know, the camera on here is not that great. But you... it. I'm trying to turn so it doesn't spill. I don't know if you can see the little brown flakes on there. I guess that's like the bacon flavor. And I gotta say, by the way, when I opened the bag, you know, the, the outer, uh, the plastic bag, the, the outer wrap for the baggy stick of the microwave, that smelled just like bacon. It was really intense. I mean, it was like the most intense. It's like if someone took bacon grease and just like rubbed it underneath your nostrils, you know, and like across your upper lip, it was that strong. But then I popped it and I took it out of the microwave and it... It really didn't smell very pleasant at all. Actually, it smelled pretty foul. It was kind of gross. But I'm now it smells better. It smells not quite as intense as it did before I cooked it. But it doesn't have that odor to it now. I mean, I was actually really kind of afraid to eat it when I first pulled it out of the microwave. I'm like, oh my goodness, that's that strong. Anyway, and here's the Jiffy Pop. It's... Very, very yellow. <laughs> it's... Yeah. So, anyway, without further ado, I'm going to try the Jiffy Pop first, I think. And, yeah. Probably tastes just like typical microwave popcorn, I'm sure. Then it does. It does, but it's not bad. I certainly won't buy it again, only because it's expensive for what you get. I make my own stovetop popcorn anyway, and yeah, th I got this for the novelty of it, and I got this for the novelty of it as well. It still has a, sorry, you hear me sniffling, <laughs> but it still has a, a slight funk to it. Here, take a look at that. You can see the, um... I'm trying to find the angle that you can... There we go. Those brown flakes, that's the seasoning. It's like flake, like, carbon. Looks like it's been burnt or charred or something. But actually, this came out perfectly. Let me try again. I, I I don't like the pot. Oops, I'm sorry. Hmm. That tastes to me like your typical microwave buttered popcorn, really. I don't really get the the bacony aftertaste with it at all. Okay, now I did. Um, I guess the trick with this, you can't have like a few pieces. You gotta gotta get a mouthful of it. Hmm. See that one? I don't know. It's interesting, but it's just tastes like buttered popcorn. I really don't know what to say about this one. 
I mean, it's... It isn't bad. I don't want people to think I, I don't like it. But it's just so... It's just not... I mean, it's so <clears throat> not bad that it's... I don't know, it's... It's so not bad that it's... I guess... Well, it's not quite good either. I mean, I'm not... If you like microwave popcorn, it might be good to you, but for me, I, I'm not a huge, I'm not big on it, on microwave popcorn, that is. It's just, I don't know, it's usually too salty, it's too greasy for me, and I don't know, I like doing my own thing, but, hmm, huh. hmm, that was bacony. But it does taste like, it does taste like artificial bacon, though. So I guess that's, you know, I mean, it's artificially flavored, which is why it's vegan and vegetarian safe, as they say. It does taste, you can taste, I mean, it kind of reminds you of bacon, but it, without actually tasting like it. It's like play bacon, or it, plaken, I'm going to call it plaken. This is plaken popcorn. But... But it's kind of got its own distinct geography, doesn't it? It's like, depending on where you grab in the bowl, I mean, unless I, I probably should have put it in a larger bowl and really given it a good shake, or a couple good shakes while it was in the bag or something, but depending on where you go, it's like, you could either really taste it or not taste it at all. And, which is one of the reasons why, like, initially I was shaking the bag before I stuck it in the microwave to kind of, you know, but it wasn't moving. It's like this greasy brick of like grease and popcorn seeds that was not going to move. Not too bad, but not too good. So, I mean, I, I can't... If I had to put it on like a scale of like 1 to 10, 10 being, you know, the best, and 5 being, you know, like not good, not bad, 6 being not you know, whatever. It'd be, I guess I'm saying it'd be like between five and six, because one would be nothing. You know, I mean, it's just so middle of the road that it's just... No. It's indescribable. Oh, and I'm going to go ahead and sign out with that. Uh, Jiffy Pop, I got it for the novelty, and then that for the novelty as well, but I have to say I actually like the Jiffy Pop better because it tastes more like I would have expected to. And the butter popcorn, or butter, the bacon popcorn was like, I don't know, it was kind of meh. So, that's it, spider out.